Let's talk about haze. Volumetric lighting is a technique used in cinematography to give depth to an image, but also to create a more three-dimensional space by allowing light to show its trail. Haze is used in pretty much every movie out there. So take a good look at your favorite film and see if you can spot the haze floating around in the room. Haze is considered to create cinematic images. But what is cinematic, actually? To find out, I asked a couple of my friends what their opinion was on cinematic. They all work in the film industry, so I was curious. Let's find out. The art of film involves a lot of elements that make something cinematic. It could be lighting, it could be composition, um, camera techniques, grading, sound design, music. I think it's the whole package that makes it cinematic. Of course, it's lighting, um, production design, but I think the most important one is about the story. Looking at it as a cinematographer, I enjoy looking at the, the technical choices made in the camera and lighting department to tell the story in the best possible way. So uh, that's what cinematic means to me. What is your opinion on what cinematic is? Let me know in the comments below. And now let's continue the video because there's a lot to talk about. There we are. All right, let me show you how you can create these light beams when using haze. The first thing you need is a hard light source. I'm using the Aperture 600D with the barn doors in front because I can shape the light more easily. It would be better to use barn doors with a Fresnel because you can spot the Fresnel, but they didn't have that in stock. So I'm left with the barn doors only, which works quite okay. Then as my hazer, I'm using the Stairville the Stairfill AV, whatever you see what it is. Okay, so I just fired up the hazer. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of smoke hanging up here. And the thing that I wanna do next is wafting it out. All right, so this is very important. Just grab a piece of cardboard, a flag, a floppy disk or a pillow from your couch and just go nuts on the haze. Because right now you can see all these lines and these waves, you want to break that up, okay? so. What I always do is I leave the hazer at 10% output, so it fills the room a little bit slower, but I have a little bit more time to waft it out and for the haze to settle in a bit, okay? So uh, this is what it looks like, and this is the fun part. If you have stress, go play with haze. <clears throat> Watch out for your plans. All right, so now that the haze is slowly sort of settling, I can show you guys what I mean with the shape and how it sort of, you know, grabs onto the haze when I open up the barn doors. All right, so let me focus on those. There we go. So let's lower the output first to, I don't know, what, 30%. And then you can already see that it creates a very nice path of light. All right, so that is essentially what you want. And look what happens if I open up the barn doors, how it, like, how much of this light is sort of spread out everywhere. You can see the immense difference. If I only block the, the, like the left barn door from the lens, you can see where the light is going. Yeah, so whenever there is haze and light has the path to grab onto the haze, it will do that. So that's why using either hard edges, for example, a flag or like barn doors in this case, is very much essential if you want to create interesting paths of light. If we put a gel in front, that's pretty cool. This is a half grid, I think. Oh, half grid, what am I saying? Half CTO. It's pretty sick. So there's like so many things you can do with haze. But the one thing you need to remember is that haze will spread everywhere. So in this case, it's already a little bit difficult because I don't have the Fresnel attached, okay? So there is a lot of light spill behind the barn doors. If you have a Fresnel in there, it practically doesn't spill and all the light that you want to come out of the light is in front. A really cool thing to try out when playing around with haze is to put a beamer up. 
The Beamer is a very hard light source, so it creates very beautiful trails of light. Just play a Netflix film or some random screensaver from YouTube and see what the colors do to the image. So just experiment with it and have fun. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys all next week.